Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, October 25th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Berlin, Germany. A quick reminder from Xavier today that a lot of malicious files are misrepresenting their file type by using an extension that does not reflect the actual type of the file. Sadly, it isn't always easy to figure out the actual file type. Now, many files identify themselves by a particular header and we have tools like the Unix tool file in order to identify identify file types based on this header, but this isn't always true. There are a few file types that are actually identified by a trailer. So at the end of the file, we do have a marker identifying the file type and a couple of file formats have neither. Xavier also is showing a couple of Yara rules. That's another way how to identify file types, either by trying to match the header of the file or by looking at any other indicators within the file that will identify the file type. And it looks like yet another large ransomware campaign is hitting Eastern Europe. This particular campaign has been named Bad Rabbit and one of the prominent victims is the Russian news agency Interfax. Apparently this particular ransomware is spreading via fake flash player update pop-ups that are being placed on various websites. Now, once it enters a particular network, it will move laterally using the eternal blue exploit as well as Mimikatz in order to collect credentials from memory. In addition to Interfax and some other Russian businesses, apparently businesses in the Ukraine got hit as well. And antivirus firm ESET is identifying this particular ransomware as yet another Petya variant. And TLS continues to become more and more popular. Google published its latest transparency report and is stating that between 70 and 80% roughly of web traffic is now using TLS. The data was collected from Google Chrome users. Now, Google also published across its different web platforms and most of them are now in the 80 plus percent of TLS users. Android is actually the one platform that's a little bit behind as far as TLS goes. And then there were a number of news reports and we also got some emails today regarding the duck attack. Duck stands for don't use hard-coded keys, short D-U-H-K. And the problem here is that random number generators sometimes use hard-coded seeds in order to generate random numbers. And these random numbers are then used as encryption keys. Now, the attack or the vulnerability is certainly not new. There were multiple different vendors and devices affected over the years. The paper released yesterday by researchers describes attacks against this particular vulnerability, in particular against devices by Fortinet. Fortinet patched this issue actually last year. There was a CVE 2016 8492. Fortinet's advisory was released just about a year ago on November 22nd, 2016. Now, if your device is affected, then it would be relatively easy for an attacker to decrypt a recorded IPsec traffic that is terminated on an affected Fortinet device. Part of the reason that this was a problem was also that the device used the now outdated X9.3 31 random number generator. This particular algorithm was deprecated by NIST in 2011 and removed from the list of FIPS approved random number generators in 2016. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.